Hi, I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to review the Blue Lost Galaxy Ranger, who I've had to wait for for quite some time, but I finally have him. And um, here's the box, you see the figure itself. Uh, again, the figure looks fantastic. I haven't actually had this out of the box yet, so this will be the first time I've had this out of the box. Um, so here's the side of the box where you can see the helmet, or one part of the helmet. And if I turn it round to the other side, you can see the other part of the helmet. And it actually says Power Rangers Lost Galaxy there as well. Um, and here's the back of the box, which I love the pose. Again, it, the figure's not as shiny as what it looks like on the box, but can't ask for everything, but I do wish Hasbro would do it. But... Like I said, they're doing really well so far, so I can't complain too much. So, let's get him out of the box, shall we, and have a look. So here you see him in the egg carton, as it's known. Um, again, he looks fantastic. Has all the accessories, which I'll go through in a bit. The design on him is perfect. So let's get him out of this and I'll show you him now. So here's the Blue Lost Galaxy figure out of the egg carton. Again, looks fantastic. Only thing is, it's not as shiny as he is on the back of the box. Another thing I find really bizarre is his helmet is actually really glossy. Whereas the rest of the figure isn't. But yeah, he has all the detail, all the chest emblem pieces. And if I turn him sort of round to the side, he has that on his gloves as well. And you can see his holster for his Quasar Sabre. Um, if I lift the arm up slightly, it might be easier to see. Like that. Um, again, I love him. He's got nothing on the back of him like, he, like it was on the show. He had nothing on the back of him. Um, and even got the boot, boot cuffs perfect which Van Dye always did this slightly wrong and has very now the perfectly and I won't show you the articulation because it's the same as all the other rangers, so I won't show you the articulation for him. So yeah, let's go on to the accessories. So I'm going to show you the accessories now. And first one that I'm going to show you is the Blue Rangers civilian head, or as I like to say, severed head, um, which... I have actually been told that's quite mean on YouTube, but that's basically what they are to me, so I'm going to continue calling them that. But, yeah, I think from looking at a picture of the actual actor and then putting this head next to the actual actor looks perfectly like him. Absolutely perfect details really good um, 
which Hasbro have really stepped up their game on civilian heads. Because I know some of their early ones weren't great, but since then they've really stepped up their game. Um, even the hair is perfect. Not that I take much notice of the hair when I'm watching the TV, by the way. But from watching Lost Galaxy recently, the hair looks absolutely perfect. So, the next one I'm going to go on to is the um, I can't remember the name of these. I'll have to put it in the video. Um, but these are the claw weapons as they look like. Um, Again, they're grey plastic with a hint of blue, blue and gold on them. Now that's what does kind of annoy me, is they are supposed to be silver. So that kind of annoys me. And you have the <laughs> full size Quasar Saber um, and I actually got the name right because I got it wrong in the last one um, so this is a full size one fully painted excepting in the blade I wish that was silver like it was on the show Um Got the gold bit at the top here, gold bits on the hill and black bits on the hill. Especially the emblem in, in the uh, hill of the sword. That looks fantastic. And now I'm going to show you the effects piece. which is this lightning bit here which is blue uh, gold yellow and gold um, again I think this is a cool effects piece but I do wish they'd done it thicker like the other Lost Galaxy Ranger one this is really flimsy which I really don't like because you can never get them to stay on what they're supposed to stay on so that's why I generally use blue tack um, but yeah perfect representation though of what it does on the show and now I'm going to move on to the hands, if I can pick them up, because I know I do struggle with these. These, oh, this is the fist hand, which again looks just like the other hands, really. Um, they've even got the zigzaggy part in there, which looks fantastic now one thing I will say is be careful of this bit that goes in the ball joint holes because they do bend quite easily and I think if you bend them too far I think they will snap and they won't glue back on um because I've done stuff like this in the past with some of my old figures from a different company and they don't glue back on so what I've had to do is make kind of a resin one and do it and attach it to the hand which Hasbro should do actually because it will make it more solid Uh, 
and the other one is like, well, I, there's two things I call this. I call it a karate chop hand or a slap in the face hand. And now, I've also had comments on it being called what I call it, but and I don't really care really what other people think. But yeah, it looks fantastic. Again, though, I wish they didn't do this type of hand with every single figure. Because not every single figure does this hand. And if they do do it, they don't do it all the time. Um, and the other one is... He folded down Quasar Saber, which goes in the holster on him, uh, which looks fantastic. And he does have another set of hands, which are on him here, which are the weapon holding hands, which look fantastic again. Um, so let's pose him with all his accessories, if we can. So we've got him posed in a similar sort of pose to what's on the back of the box. It's not exactly the same. And he is balanced precariously at the moment, so um, I'm trying not to move. Um, one thing that is different that is on the box is he doesn't have his helmet on. He has his civilian head on, which I thought it quite it looked it, it would look quite good with the civilian head on. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this figure. I'm glad I got it. Um, took a while to get here. I've had it ordered for about six months, but it was well worth it. Um, and I hope they bring out the rest of the team. So that's it for now. Bye-bye and thanks for watching.